Well, hello there, amazing, smarty, nerdy people. We are going to look at how to make OpenSUSE, or in this case, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, a little bit less bloated. And what do I mean by that? So people have complained, and I kind of think it's a valid complaint that if you install something in OpenSUSE, it tends to install a lot of shit. Or meaning that you get a lot of extras with it. And why is that? Well, let's say I, for example, go in and install Firefox. OpenSUSE by default will now install everything that's recommended by Firefox. So language packs, you know, all of these kind of things that you may not need. It's set up like that by default because the OpenSUSE developers will see that as giving you the best experience of the software because you have everything that the software recommend and need. Some of us don't need all of these extra bits and bobs. We, we know how to add them in ourselves. So there are two ways how to basically slim down when you install a software on OpenSUSE. One of the ways is to go into the good old YAS tool here, go into software management, click dependencies and untick install recommended packages. So again, if you are installing good old Firefox, it won't install all of the recommendations, you know, extra language packs, packs that you may not need, or if you're installing other programs, it will not put in everything and the kitchen sink at the same time. It will only put in the bare minimum requirements. If you're using the command line, there is a way of doing that also. And it's kind of the, the way that I recommend you guys doing it. I don't know if Yast is is overruling that if you don't tick that, um, you know, if you don't tick this one away up here, let's start it up again. So if you don't untick this one here, I think Yast will still install recommended if you're doing it via the GUI tool. So I recommend you doing it both in here and in the terminal as I'm going to show you guys right now, because then you are sure that it will not load up your system so to speak so we need to go into i think it's so we need to go into uh, we need to cd into etc set ypp so etc and and then the folder in the etc folder called set ypp we we'll go into that so if we list that in here you can see we have something called zipper conf and we have something called zip conf and we are going to look at the zip conf file and I'm just use good old nano and we need to find something called solve here yeah, solver. This is uncommented by default and it says false. We need to or it's comment out by default. Sorry. And it says false. We need to uncomment it out and say true. So solver only requires so basically what this is doing is the same as we did up here in here is that it's not installing recommends. It's only installing things that are required. If you are installing a program, it will not take all of the recommendations that that program recommend you to install. It will only install the libraries and extra packages that it requires to run. That means that if you go in and have it, or if you end up having like some capability problems with a file format or missing a feature and stuff like that. That may be because it's not a required feature or a format to, to support, but it's a recommended format or feature. So you now have to go in and manually figure out what packets give me that feature. Or you just reinstall the program you just install the program with the dash dash recommends and then the program's name so now it will install everything in the kitchen sink so that's how you can circumvent that in the command line where you can then reinstall the program up here in the google tool and tick install recommends and then reinstall the software you can also go into the zipper.com file and do some tweaking in there maybe we should look at that one right now because I, I did look at this and I did try this here, install recommends equal false. It had no effect on my system. If this was, this is also commented out by default. And you can see here, follows the zipper.conf solver re uh, only requires. If you just do that, the first one in zip.conf and you, and you, and you set this to uncomment that and set it to true. 
you don't need to do this one in here. I, I see some guides say you should do both, but with my testing, you only need to do it in the one that we that the in this one here in the zip.com file here. You only need to do it in here. I tried it with the the modification to zip.com and I tried it without the modification to zip.com and I saw different in package sizes that it downloaded. I tried it with the uh, zipper.com file uh, and I tried not modifying zipper.com but modified zipper.com, you know, this one up here. And it basically didn't do anything to be honest because it looked at this one first. This one basically took presence of what was going on. This is the big daddy apparently. See you all later. Bye bye.